I need you to tell me what to do about Keystone Furnace problems. I'm assuming you're talking about the furnaces in Keystone RVs. Make sure you have a workable propane flow by turning on the stove burners. At least you didn't ask me to check that I had not run out of propane in the first place. If it only runs for 30 seconds before dying, the issue is probably a limit switch. I'd love to be able to fix this instead of calling for service. Or waiting for service. The limit switch may stick or corrosion with the contacts reduces the voltage and the control panel doesn't recognize the limit switch's setting. Do I have to replace the control panel? The first thing I do is unplug the terminals before reconnecting them. Assuming it is the control panels. So test it with a paper clip across the limit switch terminals. If the thing starts with a jump and dies when you remove the paper clip, you know the problem is the limit switch. That would be cheaper than replacing a control panel. And if it keeps running when you remove the paper clip, you know it might be the control panel, if not something else, like the sail switch. I do not even know where that is. There is the possibility that the gas pressure isn't high enough, which is why the furnace isn't running or lights and then drops out. How could I tell if that was the cause? If it runs when you first turn it on and then dies because the gas is petering out, it is likely the gas pressure. Assuming the issue is not a burner issue. Burner problems can keep it from running or running for a few minutes, turning off, then coming back on. Cycling like that will wear things out quickly. Another problem the Keystone RV with a suburban furnace has is that the duct work is squished in most units and in installation. You can reduce that by loosening the screws so they aren't too tight. At least you are not accusing me of having a screw loose. Keystone RVs have a separate problem with the furnace not adequately heating the bedroom, because the heating vent to that room is either undersized or squished. You put it so eloquently. The living room is not cold, but it is noisy. That's the one way you know it is working. Another problem Keystone RV furnaces have is a finicky thermostat, though you can replace their analog sliding furnace control with a digital one. The other benefit of that is that you do not have to go through the dealer to do it.